Well, the actual statistics are that every person who's ever lived in human history uh, could fit into the state of Texas. That is not what I would recommend, by the way. But, uh, and the, the, the amount of space that each person would have, I forget what it is, but it, it's unbelievable how large the earth, the land mass of the earth is compared to the number of people who have ever inhabited it. So you could have everyone who has ever, tragically, not everybody who has ever lived is going to go to heaven. Okay, and That's something we'll talk about later because at one point we, we will deal with the subject of hell. But let's say, let's say there were over a billion people that will live in the new earth. Let's say there were a couple billion people that would live on, on, on the new earth. And that might be optimistic by you know, some people's. Yeah, but if you, if you think of, depending on your view related to children who have died and, you know, all of that. But whatever that figure is, there'll be plenty of room on an earth this size. Now, some have speculated that the new earth doesn't have to be the size of the old earth. It's just like a new body could be bigger, but certainly a, a, it's like an old car, new car. Can a car be larger? Can a house be larger? Yes, it can and still be a house. So it might be larger as far as the amount of water that's on the earth. Uh, one of the things we'll talk about later is this Revelation 21.1 with no longer any sea. Uh, and we will get to that I, it's either tomorrow afternoon or possibly Thursday morning and talk about that. But I believe that that passage, that is a figurative expression. Um, but even the part of it that's literal is, I think it's, no more a salt sea where people go out in boats and perish and send invaders in warfare and separate people from each other and die of thirst because they can't drink the poisonous water and have sea creatures that swallow them, that that is the meaning of the no more sea. It's not saying no more large bodies of water. In fact, we've got the water that is flowing in this huge river through the New Jerusalem. It has to go somewhere. And the nature of, so if you, if you want to think in terms of gigantic lakes, 